I've stumbled upon yet another incredible but lesser known South Korean zombie movie. As we all know, South Korean zombie films not only feature zombies with exceptional combat capabilities, but they also delve deep into the disintegration of humanity in apocalyptic settings. The film Horror Stories Ambulance on the Death Zone, released in 2012, is no exception. Not only are the zombies in this movie terrifyingly fast, but the portrayal of human nature is also vividly detailed. The story begins in a city swept by an unknown virus, turning once bustling streets into silent graveyards littered with corpses. Amidst constant emergency evacuation broadcasts, an ambulance navigating its way out of the chaos encounters a mother and daughter struggling to survive. The mother, pushing her injured daughter in a shopping cart, desperately calls out for help. After confirming they are survivors, the nurse helps them onto the ambulance. However, the girl's condition is critical and she's completely unconscious. The anxious mother pleads with the doctor to save her child. The medical team springs into action, managing to stabilize the girl's condition with an adrenaline injection. But she is still in grave danger and needs to reach the safety zone quickly for further treatment. The doctor urges the driver to speed up while calling the safe zone to report their status. It's then that the nurse notices what looks like a zombie bite on the girl's arm. The mother claims the wound was from a car accident during their escape, but her explanation does not alleviate the doctor's concerns. For safety, he decides to conduct a virus test. He takes a blood sample from the girl and thankfully, the test indicates negative, she isn't infected. Everyone finally breathes a sigh of relief. After driving some distance, the mother makes a suspicious move. While the doctor and nurse are distracted, she attempts to steal a vaccine from the vaccine box. However, she's caught red-handed by the doctor, raising serious doubts about what she might be hiding. The doctor forcefully questions her, asking if the little girl was bitten by a zombie. The mother claims ignorance, saying her daughter was already in this condition when she found her. Enraged, the doctor pushes the mother aside, securely binds the girl, and orders the driver to stop the ambulance, intending to leave the girl behind. Even without confirmation of a zombie bite, the doctor is not willing to risk everyone's safety. This decision is met with strong opposition from both the driver and the nurse. The nurse argues that they can't be sure the wound is a bite mark and that the test showed no signs of infection. She believes they should trust the mother. However, the doctor counters that the virus tests are unreliable during the incubation period. If the girl turns into a zombie inside the vehicle, no one will escape alive. He proceeds to cover the girl with an isolation plastic bag, preparing to remove her from the ambulance, but the nurse continues to resist. She points out that if the girl is not bitten, they would essentially be killing an innocent child. Despite her protests, the doctor remains firm in his decision, not wanting to take any risks. The standoff continues, with the driver eventually siding with the nurse. He suggests that if the girl really was bitten, they should rush her to the safety zone for vaccination. The nurse agrees, but the doctor worries about the infection spreading on the way, and doubts the availability of vaccines in the safe zone. The nurse tries to make a call to inquire, but is stopped by the doctor, who insists on making the call himself. After the call, they receive devastating news, the safe zone has run out of vaccines and is prohibiting entry to anyone infected. The doctor then resumes his attempt to remove the little girl from the ambulance. The desperate mother grabs a scalpel to stop the doctor from removing her daughter from the ambulance. In response, the impatient doctor pulls out his gun and knocks the scalpel from her hand before forcefully ejecting her from the vehicle. Just as the doctor is about to remove the little girl again, the nurse intervenes. She also doubts the doctor's claim about the vaccine shortage and wants to verify it by calling again. Realizing the doctor indeed lied, the nurse angrily slaps him, leading to a heated exchange. With the doctor pointing his gun, the driver reluctantly stops the ambulance. After they remove the little girl from the ambulance, the others are hesitant to reboard, especially with terrifying growls heard nearby, indicating danger. Making matters worse, the little girl starts coughing up blood, which the doctor interprets as a sign of mutation. The nurse, however, insists it's an allergic reaction to the medication used during resuscitation. In the midst of this argument, the little girl coughs again, splattering blood on the doctor's face. The mother seizes this moment to try to grab the gun, resulting in chaos and the gun falling to the ground. 
The doctor overpowers the mother but is shocked when the nurse picks up the gun and shoots him. The gunshot attracts a horde of zombies. As the undead swarm approaches, everyone rushes to get the girl back into the ambulance, leaving the wounded doctor behind. Fortunately, the bullet didn't hit his legs, and the nurse, showing some compassion, urges him to run. They manage to pull him into the ambulance just in time to escape the pursuing zombies. Just when they thought they were safe, zombies shattered the ambulance window and grabbed the doctor by the neck. The nurse rushed to help, but more zombies climbed onto the roof, and even the driver was accidentally bitten on the arm. In the chaotic cabin, the doctor struggled in vain against the zombies. As the situation worsened, the selfish mother, desperate to protect her daughter, pushed the doctor and the attacking zombie out of the ambulance, leading him to be overwhelmed by the pursuing horde. She then quickly shut the ambulance door. The nurse was stunned by the mother's brutal act, which echoed the doctor's earlier warnings. The mother seemed willing to go to any length to save her daughter, and the nurse began to suspect the little girl was infected, with her worsening wound as evidence. The nurse, seizing an unguarded moment, decided to retest the girl with a diagnostic strip. But just as she was about to check the result, the ambulance entered a tunnel. The flickering lights made it impossible to see clearly. In an unfortunate twist, the ambulance lurched, causing the nurse to drop the test strip, which was then crushed under a wheel of the hospital bed. The mother, noticing the nurse's odd behavior, held her gun and rambled about how her daughter was definitely not infected. Seeing the mother's near insane state, the nurse pretended to need bandages for the girl to get the mother to put down the gun. The nurse planned to grab the gun for her own safety, but the plan was interrupted when the driver, now turning into a zombie, accidentally hit a zombie while exiting the tunnel, causing the nurse's movements to be noticed by the mother. The two women immediately began to struggle for control of the gun. As the horde of zombies surged towards the ambulance, the driver, although not fully zombified, acted with insane recklessness, plowing straight into the swarm. Amidst the carnage on the road, the two women, struggling for the gun, accidentally discharged it, hitting the driver. The ambulance, now out of control, began to careen wildly across the road. During this chaos, the nurse was overpowered and lost the gun to the mother. The mother rushed to the driver's seat, trying to regain control of the runaway vehicle. The driver, struck by the bullet and turning into a zombie, attacked her, but she quickly killed him in self-defense. Driven by her fierce maternal instinct, the mother exhibited extraordinary combat skills. Unbeknownst to her, the nurse, having been knocked down, got up again, determined to eject the infected girl from the ambulance before reaching the safe zone. However, as she tried to push the girl out, she noticed the child's heartbeat had stopped. Turning around, the nurse was almost scared to death. Finally convinced that the girl was no longer human, the nurse decisively pushed her out of the ambulance. But she couldn't budge the girl, as the mother grabbed the straps in time and without hesitation, pulled the trigger, killing the nurse. However, the ambulance, now uncontrolled, flipped over. When the mother regained consciousness the next day, the safe zone was in sight. She clutched her daughter, desperately trying to wake her, hoping for a miracle. Astonishingly, the girl woke up, appearing normal and seemingly uninfected. However, in a tragic twist of fate, the mother, now infected, turned into a zombie and fatally bit her daughter. The movie ends with this shocking and tragic scene, where the daughter, whom the mother had fought so hard to protect, ultimately perished by her own hands.